Let's hold it, men. Excuse me for interrupting. Since Chrysler Power Flight Drive is, without question, the world's finest automatic transmission, it deserves every bit of fanfare we can give it. However, as Chrysler salesman, you want the answers to four questions. One, what is it? Two, how do you operate it? Three, how does it compare with competition? And four, what are the best ways to demonstrate its benefits? Well, let's take first things first. What is it? We'll try to explain this in simple terms, the kind of story any prospect will understand. Power flight is a completely automatic transmission made up of a superior torque converter combined with a hydraulically controlled two-speed planetary gear unit. Power flight has a simplicity unequaled by any competitive transmission in its field. It's much lighter in weight and has fewer parts than any of them. During normal forward driving, the two-speed planetary unit is completely automatic. All of the shifting work is done by bands and a clutch that are operated hydraulically. The planetary unit has two forward speeds. The gear ratio of the low or breakaway speed is 1.72 to 1. The torque converter has three big main advantages. First, it cushions driving force, just like a fluid coupling. Second, it multiplies driving force like a gearbox. Third, it changes its ratio of multiplication smoothly and gradually without any shifting. Chrysler's torque converter is the most efficient in any automobile. At full throttle, its ratio of multiplication for starting is 2.6 to 1. In other words, the engine's driving force is multiplied by 2.6 when the car is first put in motion. However, as the car gains speed, the multiplication of driving force gradually decreases until the ratio has become one to one. At breakaway, both units are supplying torque multiplication. The torque converter at a ratio of 2.6 to one and the gears at a ratio of 1.72 to one. The result is an astonishing breakaway ratio of 4.47 to one overall torque multiplication for starting from a standstill. Now, this is a higher ratio in drive range than that of any competitive car today. Briefly then, there you have the story of what Power Flight is, the simplest and most efficient automatic transmission on the highway today. Now, let's get behind the wheel and answer our second question. How do you operate Power Flight? Well, as you can see, the safety selector lever has but four positions. Here is the R, or reverse position. This is the N, or neutral position. The engine can be started only when the selector is in neutral. The D, or drive position, is the one used for practically all forward driving. The L, or low position, is used only on rare occasions, on rough terrain, or when it's necessary to rock the car in mud or snow, or when engine braking is desired on steep grades. Here's an important safety feature of the Power Flight Selector Lever Action. It's equipped with stops, engineers call it gated, so that gears can be selected without watching the indicator. When moving from neutral to drive, a stop keeps it from going beyond into the low position. Similarly, when moving back into neutral, a stop keeps the lever from going past N into the reverse position. Now that's why we call it the safety selector lever. But by simply lifting the selector lever toward the wheel to bypass the gates, it can be moved to the desired position, low or reverse. For instance, with the engine at a fast idle, by moving the selector quickly from reverse to low, you can rock the car out of mud or snow with maximum efficiency. Naturally, the selector quadrant dial is lighted at night for your convenience, but with this safety selector feature, you can operate the lever by feel without any danger of moving it to the wrong position by mistake. This is not true of all automatic transmissions. Now, here's an important point. 
There is no P or park position with Chrysler Power Flight. For safe, secure parking, Chrysler is equipped with a powerful independent parking brake. This parking lock must never be applied when car is in motion. That's a caution from the Buick owner's manual, but you'll find no such caution in the Chrysler owner's manual. Never move the lever to the P position while the car is moving. That's from the Mercury owner manual. Another word of caution to Mercury owners. With many competitive automatic transmissions, serious damage can result if these cautions are not observed. The owner of a Chrysler with the simple, rugged power flight drive need not worry about don't do this and don't do that. Now, when the selector is in low position, it simply keeps the planetary unit from automatically shifting to the second speed or direct drive. All right, let's put the car in motion. First, of course, we must start the engine, have the selector lever in N or neutral, and operate the convenient ignition key starting. Next, move the selector lever to D, the drive position, and step on the accelerator. That's all there is to it. You're on your way, whether in the city or country, dense traffic or open highway. For all normal driving, just step on the accelerator to start and step on the brake to stop. There's no clutch pedal to bother with, and you don't have to release accelerator pedal pressure to call for a shift. Now, what happened when we started? As we said, the Chrysler always starts in low, so we had a tremendous surge of acceleration due to the 4.47 multiplication of the engine torque. As car speed increased, the ratio of the torque converter gradually became less and less. And when we no longer were calling for acceleration at the pedal, the gear unit smoothly and quietly shifted itself into direct ratio. Had we been calling for maximum acceleration, the shift would not have taken place until about 65 miles per hour. When less than maximum acceleration is called for, the shift can take place as low as 15 miles per hour. Now, let's imagine you're driving along and want an extreme surge of power to safely pass another car, for example. You can get it with power flight from its kick down or forced downshift feature. At any speed up to around 55 miles per hour, just push the accelerator pedal clear to the floor. Instantly, you get the extra surge you need from the downshift of the transmission to power range. Then, when the car speed reaches approximately 65 miles per hour, power flight automatically shifts to direct drive. Or it'll shift to direct drive any time when the accelerator pedal is released slightly. Now, power flight automatically downshifts at about 11 miles per hour when you're decelerating. The shift from direct drive down to low is so smooth you hardly notice it. But suppose you're driving down a steep grade and want the engine compression to do some of the braking for you. At any speed below 65 miles per hour, you simply move the selector lever to low for engine braking. And now, here's a point we shouldn't overlook. If necessary, the power flight equipped Chrysler can be started by pushing. With the selector in neutral and with the ignition switch on, allow the car to reach a speed of around 25 miles per hour. Then, simply put the selector in low position. And there, briefly, is the story of how to operate Chrysler Power Flight and what happens while it's in operation. Since comparison is the only sound basis for judgment, after the record is turned, let's see how Chrysler Power Flight stands the acid test of comparison with competitive transmissions. The comparisons to be made are all under conditions of maximum acceleration. In other words, we must assume that the accelerator pedal is all the way down, and we want as much acceleration as we're able to get. Now, let's develop a chart on which we can compare the performance of the various transmissions. At the left, the vertical line is torque multiplication. Along the bottom, the horizontal line is car speed in miles per hour. Now, at breakaway, power flight multiplies torque by 4.47. But as speed increases, this ratio decreases until the torque converter has come down to a direct ratio. But 
the gear unit is still multiplying by 1.72 to 1. At maximum acceleration, the gear unit doesn't shift until about 65 miles per hour. Then, smoothly and evenly, the automatic shift takes place and the whole transmission is in direct drive or a one-to-one -one ratio. Now, we'll see how power flight compares with dual-range hydromatic found on Cadillac, Oldsmobile, Pontiac, and Lincoln, among others. To begin with, dual-range hydromatic has a fluid coupling, not a torque converter, so all power multiplication must be done by gears. Hydromatic shifts three times whenever you start up normally in country drive range and uses four different combinations of gears. Power flight shifts but once. Further, the driver must use two different drive ranges for efficient results in various traffic and road conditions. Power flight gets all the benefits with one drive position. Now, let's compare torque multiplication. Power flight is the solid line. Hydromatics maximum multiplication is only 3.82 compared with power flight's 4.47. And notice that hydromatic needs to shift three times. Further, Power Flight has the advantage of greater simplicity. Power Flight has only 185 major parts, weighs 214 pounds, and has only nine control valves. Compared with Hydromatic's 295 parts, 268 pounds of weight, and 33 control valves. So compared with dual range Hydromatic, Chrysler Power Flight requires less effort automatically produces best results, operates more smoothly, and it has simpler design. Now, how about Buick's Dynaflow transmission? Let's start by looking at our graph. Again, power flight is the solid line. Dynaflow's starting multiplication is only 2.45 compared with power flight's 4.47. Even when Dynaflow is shifted to low range, Power flight still has a slight edge over Dynaflow in maximum torque multiplication. The reason is, Power Flight's torque converter is more efficient than Dynaflow's. The Dynaflow selector dial is not lighted, so there is real danger of moving the selector to park position while the car is in motion at night, which could cause serious damage to the Dynaflow transmission. In this comparison, Power Flight again comes out ahead in simplicity. Power Flight has 185 major parts and weighs 214 pounds, compared with Dynaflow's 218 parts and 248 pounds. Next, let's take a look at Packard's Ultramatic transmission. Here's our graph again. For starting in drive range, Ultramatic has only a 2.5 power multiplication. Look at the comparison of the number of parts and the weight. Ultramatic has 65 more major parts and weighs almost half as much again as Chrysler Power Flight. In addition, Ultramatic has a feature you should know about. After a certain speed, it locks out the torque converter. In doing this, it eliminates the torque converter's many benefits. Finally, let's compare Power Flight with Mercury's Mercomatic transmission. Here, our graph shows that Mercomatic starting multiplication is 3.1 to 1 compared with Power Flight's 4.47, a 44% advantage over Mercomatic. And here's the comparison in number of parts and weight. As you can see, Mercomatic has 57 more major parts than Power Flight and weighs 14 pounds more. The Chrysler owner does not have to contend with a park position. That's because he has a powerful, independent parking brake he can trust to hold his car. Drivers of the other cars must shift to park position to lock the rear wheels for safety. Now, as every successful salesman knows, it's the road demonstration that proves your claims, makes the prospect appreciate Chrysler benefits, and clinches the sale. So, let's take a few minutes and watch Fred Johnson, a top Chrysler salesman, to see how he demonstrated the power flight transmission for his prospects, Mr. and Mrs. Floyd Ellis. First, he explained in complete detail the four positions of the safety selector lever. He emphasized the extreme simplicity of driving the Chrysler with power flight. 
He told them how the one driving position took care of almost all normal driving, and that with power flight, the driver has less to do than ever before. When they got out near the edge of town, where traffic was light, he put the car through its paces in the matter of acceleration. He described an imaginary situation where a truck was in front of them and showed how the kick-down feature could be used for extreme acceleration to pass other cars quickly. At various speeds and various rates of acceleration, he pointed out when the automatic shift took place and how very quiet and smooth the shift was, hardly noticeable to those in the car. He had planned the trip to include a steep grade, and he showed them how to use low for engine braking. When they came to a sandy road, he took the car into deep sand and demonstrated how easy it is to rock the car out with power flight. He parked the car on a steep grade and explained at length the extra convenience and safety of the independent parking brake, which makes a fifth position on the safety selector dial for parking unnecessary on a Chrysler. Then, of course, he invited Mr. Ellis to take the wheel so he could experience firsthand all the important owner benefits of power flight. And the fair sex wasn't neglected either. Mrs. Ellis was also invited to drive the car and learn how easy it was even for Milady to handle a Chrysler with power flight. Before they had returned, both Mr. and Mrs. Ellis had a complete understanding of and appreciation for all the astonishing benefits of power flight drive. And you can be sure that this personal experience increased their preference for Chrysler. And there you have the great story of the finest automatic transmission ever designed, Chrysler Power Flight. It has amazing performance because of greater and more efficient power multiplication. It's easier to operate, being completely automatic and having tremendous flexibility. The safety selector lever arrangement is the simplest of them all, and you never have to shift the lever for maximum performance or economy. It has smoother operation because the torque converter cushions the power application and the one automatic shift can hardly be noticed. It's more economical because the torque converter is the most efficient of them all. And power flight is quieter too. It has no loud whine and no long series of gear shifts. Yes, Chrysler Power Flight is the finest automatic transmission of them all. And Power Flight will sell itself and the car when you allow it to show its paces during road demonstrations.